Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about reduced instruction set computer and complex instruction set computer, which we term them to be RISC and CISC respectively. Now let us characterize CISC type computer first. That means what are the characteristics of CISC computer? Now over here we are terming the term computer means we are talking of processor only. So the first characteristics of CISC type computer is it has a large number of instructions in the instruction set, mostly from 100 to 250. Also, these instructions are designed for the specific task. Like say, for example, if you want to perform multiplication, we want to perform division. So for specialized tasks, the instructions are designed. Also, it has large number of addressing modes ranging from 5 to 20. That means as the instructions are more, so the way of writing the operand or addressing the operand is also going to be more. So it is a large variety of addressing modes. Also the type of the instructions are of variable length because the addressing modes are different. So the variable length instructions would be there that means 1 by 2 by 3 byte instructions. And instructions that manipulate operands in the memory are available in this set. That means it can directly manipulate the data into the memory. So such instructions are also available in complex instruction set of computer. Now let us discuss about reduced instruction set computer that is RISC. Let us characterize them. It is exactly we can say that it is exactly opposite of CISC type. So relatively few instructions with respect to CISC type, few addressing modes, then memory access for the operands is limited to two instructions only that is load and store. So addition or subtraction or any other instruction cannot access memory directly. So we need to go for load and store instructions for performing memory operations. Then all operations are done within the CPU because we don't have access for the memory. So all the operations are carried out into the CPU registers only. Also, there are less number of instructions, so they are of fixed length and also the addressing modes are also less, So, we, it, which in turn the, makes the instructions of fixed length and also they are single cycle instructions. That means in case of CISC type instructions, they cannot be completed within one timing cycle, whereas RISC type instructions are going to be executed within single timing cycle. So we get the benefit of faster execution of risk type instructions. Then the control unit in this case of computer is always hardwired rather than microprogrammed control. And a relatively large number of registers are available into this particular processor because we are having less instructions, less addressing modes and we do not have access for the memory directly. So we should have more number of registers in this case of computer. Also it uses one more concept that is overlap register window which we are going to discuss into next part of this video. So, also it is efficient instruction pipeline so pipelining of the instruction makes execution of the instruction faster and the compiler support now we are knowing what is compiler compiler is a translator program so the compiler support for translation of high level language to machine level language is better in case of risk computer so these are the characteristics of risk type computer now let us discuss overlapped register window which is the feature available in RISC type computer. Now it is applicable when we are having certain procedures into our system which performs call and return. That means the procedure is being called from the main program and after the execution it comes back to the main program. So during that transition period the register contents are to be saved and restored. So which is time consuming. Now to reduce this time consumption, we go for the concept of overlapped registers. So we are making certain registers common between the procedures call and return. So each procedure call results into the allocation of new window. So a new window would be shared with another procedure. So we can store the contents into these common registers which are common between the two because while calling the procedure we pass the parameters also and these parameters are being shared with these two procedures so it gets stored in this common window which we make it to be overlapped register window. 
let's see the architecture of this now this we are uh, limiting this particular concept for four procedures now it can be ex extended to more procedures also but we are taking an example of four procedures we are having global registers which is shared with all the procedures so these registers are numbered from 0 r0 to r9 that means we are having 10 registers which are global to all the procedures means common for all the procedures now let us start with procedure a now as you can see in this procedure a is having the local registers from r16 to r25 so 10 registers are allocated to this local which are used for this procedure A only. It cannot be shared with anyone. But as you can see register R10 to R15 which are shared with procedure D also. That means they are common to procedure A and procedure D. Now similarly let's see for procedure A and procedure B. As you can see procedure B is having register R26 to 31. So 6 registers which are common between A and B and 10 registers R32 to R41 are local to procedure B. Similarly between B and C procedures we are having common registers R42 to 47 which are common for B and C and specific for low c are 48 to 57 now this c and d also shares the registers so common registers are 58 to r63 are common for c and d and 64 to 73 are for local to d only now let us see an example say for example procedure b calls procedure C by passing certain parameters. So now these parameters or arguments which are being passed to C are common for B and C both. So they, those arguments or parameters are stored in this common registers that is 42 to 47. So this is how the register window is opened between the procedures when they are called. So this is the concept available in RISC type computers because the registers number is more in RISC type rather than in CISC type.